Hello everybody, welcome to my Blood Bowl Super League week number 5 up against Mr. Page 404 with his Death Roller Dwarves. <laughs> um, he's got 4 guard the same as me, but he's got 2 mighty blows on top. Um, and he has a Death Roller, 2 rerolls no Apo, only 12 players. Um, and you should know my team by now, which is 4 guards, a mighty blow, and a block runner, backup runner, and 3 rerolls and an Apo. So... It'll, you know, it's all about whether his uh, his ro roller will be as good as my stuff. And uh, doing the commentary is Skuro Metzor. Thank you very, very much, Skuro, to let me concentrate on playing. So, uh, cheers! Hello, everyone, and that's it. We're going to finally answer the age-old debate. Which dwarf build is better? One that has been meticulously crafted by Purple Chest and stolen by Jimmy, or... One that's just got a fucking death roller in it. We've got one minute turns with the Blood Bowl Super League. Jim's fate at the top of the ladder hangs in the balance in this one. I think a draw is good enough to put him over the top. But he's uh, right behind the man whose build he stole the triple chest. And he's got to get through these roller dwarves to uh, take over. How's everyone doing today? Les nains ne sont pas loin d'être les pires lanceurs qui soient, mais leur usage immodéré de la force brute et leur goût pour les armes illégales... En good, fait, good. Ils... Glad we got tons of responses to that question, and here we go. Jim uh, lost the toss. There's a blizzard on. And uh, <laughs> we've, got, uh, we've got Jim on offense to start. He's going to have to uh, make those stubby little legs get every square that they can find. Uh, so he doesn't have to make himself some GFIs. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and I do mean children, Elp Meme is joining me in the commentary booth now. How you doing, Elp? Hello, Sko. How are you doing today? Not so bad. Not so bad. We got a little bit of one-minute turn action. Jimmy yeah, going up Jimmy's against his long-term rival mr page 404 i don't know if they've ever played before no they have i've definitely seen no they haven't and you know you say rival mr page is absolutely <laughs> mopping the floor you know aside from rick and the blood bowl streaming community these days help me in my humble opinion one of the yeah, best absolutely i do remember a very good ccl life. game in which mr page just annihilated jim's team don't know what either team was playing at this point probably chaos on both sides of it <laughs> But here we are, Dwarf versus Dwarf, and the big difference in these teams, that big old death roller, going to be uh, gonna be a fun one. It's Yeah, it's going to be, isn't it? Say what you want about, you know, picking Dwarves in a format like this, which, you know, a lot of people would say it's horrific, it's quite awful, it's just an unsporting thing to do. Say what you want about all of that. I only see one death roller on the pitch, and that makes things marginally better. So, Mr. Page here, maybe not with the upper hand in coaching ability, but certainly the upper hand with morals, which is a lot. Yep, I mean, it took a lot for Jim to carefully steal his dwarf build from PC. It did, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, he, he know he's got a plan for these guys. One oh, yeah, one It's cool. one and one Yeah. <laughs> 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 and a one win from his bye week. No, I mean that's uh, that's that's for CCL. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah Mr. Okay. Page versus Jim. <laughs> I thought you said he's got a plan for everything, and when you cut, shout it oh, out no, 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 people no, 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 league no. record as one zero one. Well, Jim, I believe, is three zero oh, and one right now, and uh, it, oh, a tie here puts him at the top of the ladder. Yeah. Tied with his uh, his new friend, Mr. Andy Davey. No. Oh, yes. He's tied in second. Yes. Uh, Purple Chest still in front of the league, even though he just suffered his first loss of the season to Dio the other day. Ah, the scummy 1Ds gets the pow. Surprised there wasn't a removal. Jim going to give up some hits here, though, with the guard superiority. He probably doesn't mind too much. Does he have guard superiority? Yeah, it's about even. Yeah, it's about it's even, and uh, obviously strength advantage to Mr. Page. Yeah. Oh, the carrot yeah. Of the death roll. Yeah. 
to put that in the recycling. And just like you'd expect in any sort of dwarf mirror, it's looking to be a huge scrum right in the middle of the field. Jim going to be pretty happy that uh, Blizzard washed away on the opening kickoff. It's one less thing to worry about in terms of advancing the ball. Yeah, it certainly, uh, certainly helps things, doesn't it, getting that. How, what have you been up to, Dan Skewer? How have you been out in the world now that you're vaccinated and all of that? Uh, a good time? Yeah, I've been taking taking some bookings. Still a little slow. Still a little slow on my end uh, for getting new bookings and stuff. But uh, been been pretty busy. Been pretty busy. It's also gardening season right now. I'm getting all my all my oh, nice. my, my plants and seedlings out into the world now and getting them into the dirt they're going to grow into so I can That's then cut cool. them down and smoke them. Oh, you do it. Why didn't you just do it indoors, you weirdo? Just do hydroponic system all year round, you know what I'm saying? That's way harder. <laughs> it's way harder and it takes up far more space. And it's legal, it's legal here to grow them in the yard, so why not? Yeah, doctor feels bad. <laughs> it does feel bad. See, it's it's not legalized here at all. Yeah. You'll often find that the police will tell you to just tip it out, though, rather than do all of that. But yeah, the way they catch, because yeah, obviously no, it's quite quite cold here, so Boston's probably a little bit warmer, but similar climate. No, rainy it's, and it's, snow no, it's and much, stuff, right? much, it's much colder around here than it is in England. Maybe not summer heat. Maybe our summer heat gets worse, but we don't we don't have a very yeah. long growing season here. But no, yeah, what they do is they uh, the police helicopter go every now and again and have a look at people's houses, and when you see the big heat signature when people are growing in their house, ah, uh, yeah, like, fuck it, it's just glowing. And yeah, it's always, always fun. That's funny. But yeah, no, yeah, no it's no, legal it's... here. You can have you can have four growing plants per household resident. So I can have eight plants a year. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, I say nice. I think it's a mean... spark, but you know, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> Eight, eight marijuana plants is more than is more than most people can smoke if they if they have a good yield too in a in a growing season. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of weed. Anyway, back to uh, this this absolute barn burner of a game here. The dwarves have met the dwarves right at the line of scrimmage, and uh, they're throwing their two D blocks back and forth. Help. What's the strategy here? It's 2D men, isn't it? Um, if you go back to Jimmy's pro pro tips on elves, uh, sorry, dwarves, I mean, it does essentially boil down to 2D men. Take mighty blow. There we go. See, that's a massive removal there. Help me. It really Help me. is, actually. Every One single every single dwarf going off the pitch in this game. Surprised Jimmy life. isn't going to... Oh, he's thinking about it. That is just giving suspense to the audience. You never appo that. The Blood Bowl supercomputer wouldn't. I think it was a wrong move not to. Playing to win, of course. PC would have appoed it. But Jimmy, just don't Jim, let the doubt set in now, you know. Yeah, well, Jim's been on a tear, and I and I, and I, and I kind of agree with him that, uh, in, especially in a res format, just app with the first thing, no matter what. Um, he he generally ends up regretting not using his appo as early, and we'll see he if does, that yeah. becomes the case here. Ah, oh, it's everything he does that doesn't work out quite optimally is, of course, a regret. We all we all have that to a greater or lesser degree. The age we, we were oh, could have gone there. We were chimp, but this uh, this dwarf mirror really drew us back into the game. It actually did, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. And it, oh, double scars there. Uses up a reroll. One reroll left for Mr. Page. Don't think you eat the skull. He's not doing a whole lot else with his turn, and he's got Jimmy kind of because of the death roller right there on the middle of the field. He, mm. Jimmy really doesn't have much of an option to cut back. I guess a little bit, but not much of one, especially with two dwarves, three dwarves on the on the ground, and two of them based on that on that death roller. He's gonna have to kind of continue up that side, and it could get a little tight for him. I I don't think drilling him that far back was the play there. I think maybe you stop two squares earlier. Have him central. There he's... I mean, he's, he's fast, frenzy. isn't he? MA6, maybe? Or MA5. Page in with the frenzy trap there. Yeah, he got away with it. It's fine. Yeah. Not right up. 
Nice chain coming up here. But it's not going to advance the ball too much for Jim if he wants to keep it safe. Oh, and he gets the, the AV8. Gets punished for, he got punished for leaving that Slayer base in there and unprotected. Jim gets a removal to equalize on the pitch. Yeah, I missed a, if I missed the page hit, I'm not sweating. I'm all right. We're chilling. Don't worry about the freeze dwarves I've got on the right hand side of the pitch. Yeah, it's just, it's just slowly looking at becoming them. useless. Yeah, it's just looking at them. He uh, needs to get them back and relevant again. Um, I guess it's kind of nice because it really shuts oh. down Jim any thought of going back to the right right now. So he's got to commit to this sideline, and that could get a little ugly for him. But uh, yeah, those dwarves are pretty useless right now. I mean, if no, he can he can hook them in. He can hook them in. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's okay. Movement four. They get back in and they form the center part of you. Yeah. Square. yeah. It's just the first thing you do though is you hook them in. No. <laughs> well, we know he's not listening in to our commentary. There we go, yeah. Uh, I definitely agree with you here. I would have been moving those dwarves back because Jim's not coming back to the center at this point. He's not. No, this he, guy's like, going to move want, down. If, you, yeah. if you're desperate for this assist, at least do it from the square in front of the fucking guy on the halfway line rather than... He's done I now. Just, this guy's done. Yeah, both of those guys, both the Slayer and him now, are basically yeah. going to be out of the game. Unless he maybe, unless he can remove that dwarf with the Slayer, le de which maybe that was just his plan. He knows it's Jim. He knows it's going to break right oh, now. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. <laughs> Apo was powerfully used. <laughs> oh, he's got another. Uh, oh two dear. Apos? He doesn't. He I didn't use his Apo. Draw. Oh, he, he didn't, didn't use he didn't, his Apple. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. he didn't end up using it on the KO. But now he's wishing he had. You can see now. <laughs> yep. See, he just pointed yeah. at it. Yeah. Exactly right. I knew. I, I I called every single sequence of that play. Thank you very much. Furious. He knew Furious. he was going to regret not appoing that KO because he can't appo the death. It's not likely to come back. So, or it's less likely. So he should have just hit that KO to start. And now Jim's in some serious trouble here. Even if he does have two dwarves behind the ball. <laughs> it's just written in the stars that that Slayer was going to remove a dwarf. <laughs> it commits two players. Well, and, now those, and, and now those now two dwarves on the right actually it? look, yeah, they look like they're in the perfect position because now Jim can't retreat. He can't do anything. He's just fucked. <laughs> Completely fucked because uh, oh, Paige wow. played for the removals. Jesus, what do we know? You know? Ooh, maybe a good chain here? I don't think there's a whole lot of one. Maybe he can chain him up for the 1D. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's chaining this uh, long beard up for a 1D. And he's just going to have to... Well, it's not even really a potato because he can... Make some GFIs, and again, good thing that Blizzard's gone. Yeah, he massive. Kinda, massive he can kind of screen it? the ball here now. <laughs> so maybe scary. those guys should have been back. You know, that four movement back, that would have placed him at the back of his guard guy. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good for Mr. Page for until Jimmy started doing moving stuff. <laughs> well, it's plan. still not great for him, but I don't think he's going to be able to eight turn stall this. Oh, that puts the roller out of commission, though, doesn't it? Oh, he still, oh, he still has his blitz. Oh, blitz helps him here, actually. So he hits the, the, uh, the blitz of the, the faster dwarf. It can cause more problems for the ball. And there you go. The Dwarven Dodge game. And 
I don't even think Paige has... It's, no, so he's got a 4-plus if he wants to 1-D the ball, which is probably worth it. Wait, there might be a chain on. Might be, yeah. No, there's. I mean, you can you can chain something, but there's not really a chain on to help. Yeah, I think I think I'd move everyone. Up. Pushing yeah. that down person, right? Yeah, I think I'd just move everyone back to try and force the score, and then I'd do the four plus one D blitz. Because if yeah, you no, get that, you know, even if you get him base, Jim's just got a score next turn. Yeah, you don't base. I think. Oh, clap. Oh. Oh, dear. But he has another shot to knock him over, I think, doesn't he? I'm sorry, who? Mr. Page here, he has another shot to... Oh, he gets the extra yeah. push forward back as well, so it's yeah, fine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good play. Mr. Page ain't sitting down, is he? He's here to fucking play. Oh, yeah, she might be sitting now. <laughs> he probably is. Yeah. Yeah, 1D, a GFI. Gets oh. the GFI, gets a push, rerolls uh -huh. it, and he's stuck on him. Bollocks. I think he's just got to sit on that other... Oh, he's going to dodge him. Yeah. Well, that might have helped Jim out a little bit there. <laughs> I think you would have been better just staying there at that point. Yep. Yeah, but, you know, he's, he's, he's desperately trying to stop the score. He's not feeling confident in his ability to score in three. Plus the inevitable riot that knocks that down to... Mm -hmm. Sorry, not scoring four. And then the riot, which is going to knock that down to three. So the roller's definitely gone, right? There's no bribe in play. No. So it's getting to that point where Mr. Page can think about fouling with it, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, big time. Well, I did. Jimmy stolen here? He has no reroll for the 50-50 uh, to get out, does he? No, and he can make it worse than a 50-50 by, yeah, doing that exact play that he yeah. just did. GFI down, reroll in, pretty harmless reroll to take at this point, and he's in place. GMFI, yeah. It's more than special with a one date. They work every time. Fucking do, don't they? Hello, Dimmy. So who are you fouling? The guard guy? Mm. Yeah. It's as good yeah, as it's going to a... get. I know the troll slayer is a bigger chance of removal. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I'd I'd prefer to take, I'd prefer to take like a blitzer down. But I don't think he's going to get a big gang foul on it. That might be what he's thinking here, though. I don't know what that guy's doing. That was your blitz guy. Blitz the guard. No. I don't think he's fouling. No, he's not fouling. So he's forcing Jim to score, which will remove his player. And... But he's not blitzing either. Last action. Oh, he's going to try. The, yeah. He's going to try a five plus, I guess. Five plus one D again. Yep. Uh, well, Satterfield. It's going all right for Jim, but he's down two dwarves. He had one KO'd and then one died. He didn't apo either of them. Yeah, he's still got the apo in hand, though, not he? But I think uh, a little bit of soft defense by Mr. Page to let Jimmy break through when he was under duress. And uh, and here we are. That would be really cool if you could, con say, at half time comes to half time, you convert your apo into a bribe. Uh, sorry, into a babe. So, you, you know, that's 100k TV value down the swanning. But you can opt to use it as a babe. 
That'd be a really cool sort of little niche thing to... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, without thinking about it too much, I don't know that I'd ever want to do that is the only thing. Because I think I'd rather just have... Well, in Red Style, in Red Style, say you've got four KOs or whatever, the Apo doesn't help you in the second half, really. Well, it does on a KO. I mean, if, if a player gets KO'd... You want into you a still use it to Yeah, but on that the versus... The equity of that versus... Um, yeah. The increased odds at the free coming back. Yeah, I, I think I think I, the idea is kind of cool, but I think if you really parsed it out, it probably would never be all that worthwhile. But I don't know for sure. Again, it's it's just off the cuff thinking about it. And out goes the death roller. He really needed to foul last turn. I, I think that was a mistake not doing that. Yeah, big time, especially on the Yama 8 that was just laying on the ground or trying to work in on that guard piece. Because all but he did was Mr. force in the score and remove the death roller. Yeah. Mr. Page does have three turns to score. Not unheard of for dwarves, uh, but certainly not easy. Jim's got his he got a full 11 uh, here. He did get his KO back. And I think, yeah, Mr. Page also had a full 11, obviously down the death roller. End of so ultimate, turn, man. There we go. Yeah. Ultimately, it ends up playing out okay. Um, not using the Apo in the first uh, in that first drive, but it, did, mm. it certainly made things a little scary. It's good restraint to not draw on a dead, but it's silly though, isn't it? Because you on the KO, you've got guaranteed guy back. The dead. Yeah, you know, yeah. He definitely, he definitely didn't want to use it, and it is being fine. Yeah, 50, 50. I definitely wouldn't have used it on the death there. But the KO, just keeping players up on your drive, pretty important. Ended up not needing it. And maybe that was part of it. Jim felt confident enough that he could score against the death roller and then knew the death roller would be out. But I feel like, you know, he's been he's been really, really talking up just appoing the first KO or injury um, in games in res. And uh, I have seen a lot of value uh, when he has done that. Oop, Mr. Page about to run out of time here. Don't know if he got his full setup there. Well, that might help, though. Helping a quick snap plant solve. Yeah. Now, he does have to remember he's got three turns to score, not two. He doesn't have to rush everyone down this turn. He just needs to get a solid foothold and control of the ball roughly up well, at the LOS, if not, you well, know, slightly Well, I think here you have to pick your side. Obviously, he's going right. Yeah. So you shift everybody on the LSO, LOS over a tile to the yeah, right yeah. and back where needed, and then you power and you get a full cage there, and Jim's guys are too slow from the left to get up, make it over, and really do anything. I agree, because all he's doing here is playing Red Rover. He's just going to send it. Well, he's not even getting him through, but just sending that blitzer out. It <laughs> doesn't really do him much good because no one else is going to be supporting him. Yeah, this is... Uh... I mean, this position is bad for elves, let alone dwarves, trying to score in two. Yep. Hello, yeah, yeah, Magnus. Yeah, you're not going to say uh, that to Slayer's casters. Bit, <laughs> that Slayer's been a bit on fire in this game. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Ginger. Seen it. That's what he is. Let's poke this hole down. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Another shot at it, though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and he's out of re-rolls. Jim and... could think about trying to score twice here, too. Yeah, he and he, yeah, and he certainly that, is. He? Yeah, because at, at minimum, just putting a runner in scoring position makes Mr. Page really have to think long and hard about what risks he's willing to take to try and level it at half rather than play through for a draw effectively. Um, because if Jim gets the ball, he's going to lose the game definitely. And yeah, Surf coming here. 
Crowd not doing anything. Yeah, it's looking pretty uh, by the book for Jim here now, isn't it, really? I yeah, didn't like seems, the, the, the split like sort it. of thing that Mr. Page did there. But I don't, you know, I, I'm not seeing all the moves here. I'm not a terribly good uh, coach. Never mind Dwarf Coach, which I've, I think I've played once or twice. Um, and he did set up that nice little chain to get his guy out to get the 1D blitz on the board in the early, which was nice. Yeah, Jimmy's so Jim... paying any consideration to the potential chain pushes here of getting uh, Mr. Page getting his boys forward. Oh, Jim failing his first GFI of the several he wanted to make. He's got the re-roll for it, though. Hello, Jack Bull. No, he snakes it. And that's going to end Jim's shot at uh, the counter score threat. So yeah. Mr. Page can kind of do whatever he wants here to try and level this game. But it's going to take it's hard quite a bit. Turns, but there's some, there's some time to sort of think about a chain here, isn't there? So maybe you get the troll slayer, so you get an extra hit on the guard, run someone through. I don't know. Just yeah. a matter of place. he should he should be able to punch a hole here. Might take a little bit of doing, but he should be able to do it. He's just playing for pals on this block, though. I think there might have been a better way. Maybe not. Ooh. Well, now I don't know how he's getting through by putting the ball in that, or putting the body in that square. I thought he was going to try and come through the center here. He's just going to go wide. Push right through. Yep. Try and get in deep and uh, score the tutty. Yeah, he does have an opening here. This could be a little bit hairy for Jim. Well, he's no rerolls on the guy's edge too, isn't it? So. Yeah. Well, no, he's got a no, he's got a he's got a blitzer back there to hand off to, and if he goes up oh, the, the sideline, yeah, okay. if he goes up the if he goes on the sideline, I don't know that anyone can actually get to him. Oh. Uh, uh, I guess that runner. Now, see, if he goes there, the Slayer can get to him. But the Slayer, one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Yeah, the Slayer can't get to the sideline square. The runner, the runner that's on his back, I think, can though. Three. Yeah. Yeah, but he. Yeah. Make you fucking. Yeah, there you go. go. There you go. Yeah, that's the right play there. Doesn't fall over. Doesn't fail to GFI. I'm like Jim earlier in the match. Oh, and that's, and that's gonna seal it. Oh boy. Oh, what a play there by the Slayer with the dodge. And now Jim's Jim in trouble here. here to stop this. Really in trouble to stop this. I think he's trying to work out a chain, though. Is he? No, no, he's not. Oh, okay. No, he's just gonna try and he's just gonna try and sandwich him in there. And he made his GFIs that time. He really needed to make those. Oh, Ooh. nice Kaz, though. Instant Apo here. Yeah. No. Oh, he, he oh. used his Apo. Did he? Uh, he yeah, he must have. He must have used his Apo. You're not wrong, team man. He doesn't have one. Okay. No, he just doesn't have one. Okay. And now Jim making all the GFIs. Yeah, that makes sense, Cornet. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. MA6, by the way. What's up? Click. Sorry? Uh, uh, what did you... You talked to me. Uh, well, you had said something. I said I click. You said. Yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say click dwarf, click end zone. I don't see a better play. Uh, 
Um. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It wouldn't the red surely surely a red D blitz for a push has got to be better than a five plus four plus three plus. Well, we can samba samba five four three, and there's GFIs or not? Well, there's one GFI. There's one GFI. So even if he gets the block on the the red D blitz, he can still make it into the end zone. Where is it? Uh, negative two D with four success. And then a four plus, isn't it? No, a three plus. He's edge three. That's oh, a blitzer. Three plus, he has a dodge. So it's five, four, three versus three, negative two. Yeah, this is the right play, and he's got it. He's got the push he needs. And so now it's just a three plus, two plus the score. Oh, there we go. No reroll, though. Makes oh, the dodge. Makes it, and he scores one, one. on him. Oh, Jim, Hello, Jim Furious. Well played. Jim's fuming. Jim's fuming. Chat game, chat game, <laughs> Jim's fuming. Wasn't that you say hard? LOL, well played yeah. there. You say you said nice one, rat, or something like that. The LOL indicates well, salt. That's weak chat game there. I think that Slayer or whoever the player was that was on the lowest point there hmm. needed to actually be one square lower, and not basing and not basing the player yeah. for that blitz off. Little air gap. Yeah. Yeah. I think that like the was the way play. Jim did it to prevent the uh, to make it the five plus to slap the ball. The GG well, hasn't the been GG dropped. GG hasn't, hasn't dropped. Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's yeah. Uh, tickling the balls. Well, oh, one one up against it here. Especially if Jim wants to edge Andy Davo and take the top spot. Definitely needs a W. Well, he's trying to edge out Purple Chest. He's tied in second right now with Dave. Oh, he's... okay, 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 okay. But you know, I said edge instead of edge out. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm a little intrigued as to why he's brought the ball up. Follow there. That's all right. I think you follow there, so you put the troll slayer 2D 2D with so the mighty blow, mm. the guy on the left. But now it's just a yeah, uh, yeah. Well, he had another guard there, so if he'd gone over to the left instead, he still would have had the 2D on the second block. All oh, right. Uh, no, I think a draw is actually good enough, T Man, because he's he and Purple Chest are both three zero and one right now, as I understand it, with Purple Chest having whatever the tiebreaker is. So Jim drawing does put him at the top, and I think he said that guarantees him a playoff spot at this point. Uh, but I think he obviously he wants to and probably should win this game. Maybe not now, but uh, this you know this is a winnable game. He's he, most people wouldn't make the case that Mr. Page has the better build for for a dwarf mirror here. Oh, okay, that's what he needs. Okay, he needs to draw and a win. Yep. Who do you know who his last game is against Squirrel? Ooh. Okay, well, uh, he's got halflings, yeah. Anarian, great coach, but playing halflings hasn't had a lot of luck in BBSL with them. It is a surprise as well, what if there being four or five dwarf teams in this play side of the bracket? <laughs> yeah, that sucked. Hey. 
ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. He's got a troll slayer, troll slayer hit here. Um, I mean, there is the guard guy at the back, which will reduce it to a one day. But he's got two, two, two nice mighty blow shots. I also wouldn't count Jim two... out of this game. Just yet. Because, uh... <laughs> dwarf scrum on dwarf scum, scrum can literally go in either direction. Jim's just as... He, I think Jim has a decent chance of stalling him out, turning him over, and winning. Oh, you heavy commitment here. And this is early commitment as well. Yeah, Jim's got a full 11 to... What's that? Ten, yeah, it's 11 to 10 right now in Jim's favor. You follow? To mm. keep those guys tied? I, I, I agree. Them, I guess he doesn't. No, I agree there. Mr. Page does not. Um, yeah, and that's a runner too, so that runner can get all the way over. Jim Jim should be able to shut this down on that right side there. Yeah. there Ooh, this is a, one I don't know if I like this block. Yeah. Yeah, because now you're making it easier for him to free and chain his players up. Oh, you don't have to throw every block you have on offer. I don't think uh I don't think this is gonna work out so well for Mr. Page. He's got multiple chains now because of all of those blocks. Well, on the upshot, yep. the, um, the middle isn't even really that well protected, is it? So there's not a terrible shot at uh, retreating. Can chain the blitz on the ball. Yep. Yeah, there yeah, right. And that's what he's doing. Yeah, that, this is almost entirely set up for him by Mr. Page, too. This is, uh, this was, uh, and this, this could have been avoided. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> he's got another chain here, too. Yeah, if he can, if he wants, uh, I guess he kind of can. I think he's trying to see if he can chain both those guards or chain that guard off of them. Yeah. Jim okay to not hit the ball bit. here. Yeah, he's okay not hitting the ball here because he's going to have it pretty damn controlled. Not yet. I'm not sure why he was too concerned about following or <laughs> not following there because there wasn't really anything else that player could do. And now he's got, he can double base the ball if he really wants to end the game. <laughs> I, play on Xbox. I oh, think no. that potentially opens up a chain ball for he doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Which, that could have been why Jim was hesitating on the uh, yeah. follow there. Now, Mr. Page in a hell of a lot of trouble here. Jim's got a runner right in the middle of the field, too. He does. If things go well, poorly, he can be away. Well, he's got those two people on the left that are somewhat responsive, so you can get back and he can sort of slow down any push from Jim. I don't know if you retreat here. Numbers advantage and all of that. I was just about to say, one of those two players on the left is going to be an assist for this block. <laughs> also on the left. Yeah, yeah, I knew these two guys are going to go downfield. I, I, I agree with you. I think they maybe need to not, but... yeah. Sure looks like he's going to put them right downfield where they're not going to be of much help. Yep, here comes the assist. Is he going to double it up just to make sure he can get the block? No. 
Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong circle. That's <laughs> player. He doesn't have a block. Oh okay. Right? Yeah, I was expecting. I was expecting one of those other dwarves with block you have guard. Have to push to him up into your team. Yeah. Yeah, because you're going down with the ball. Surely. Yeah. There we go. But I'm not entirely sure how he plans to account for that Slayer. Slayer, he's going to blitz him, isn't he? Blitz the ball free. But, oh, Jim Slayer, yeah. He's just not yeah, that, yeah, he? the safety. <laughs> I mean, Jim showed last time he didn't want to take a take a one day against the ball, so he won't do it this time. Oh, he just throws the block um, and stays in place. Is this safer? I suppose yeah. you've got the chain push that guy away it's it's no you don't actually because of the guard not from oh, okay here we go i mean he so could have retreated but it wouldn't have for that slayer yeah yeah, yeah he could have retreated too but it wouldn't have really helped him much yeah it's probably it's probably safer probably not much else he could have yeah. done there But again, though, this entire predicament is almost a completely of Mr. Page's design right now. He really, really set up last turn and put himself in this just losing position that's going to be really hard to fight his way out of. Look at the Jim's guard are out on the left, so that's, that's nice. Ish. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Oh, nice KO for Jim. It's going to be a little disappointed in that one, though. Was that disappointing? He could have re rolled it. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, bro. <laughs> no. It's a good thing you didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Like, yeah, we'll bring some I know he'd still be in a strong position either way, wouldn't he? But the yeah. clock is counting down. Mr. Page could be playing on the. on the. playing for a draw. Uh, it's still and a lot of time, though. I mean. Two three, turn, two, three turns, Jim still can turn him over and score, you know? <laughs> it gets tighter every turn, but... How does the full potato look here? You've got the... He's, he's got one guy free, one long beard free in the center of the pitch, this guy. I think his target would be slapping down the... Uh, yeah. I don't think you're basing here, all right? Slapping down the fast player, the blitzer, is it? And you've got a, got a chance at making it a little bit safe. I would have thought about using that Slayer to 1D blitz that Garter that he's against. He's going to blitz with this guy to bring him up. That's probably smarter. Oh, he's freed up a player there, too. Yeah, actually, why is that his blitz? Why is that his blitz? Uh... Why would you, you blitz have, you have to with the slayer, a slayer that's going to frenzy himself into base contact? Hey, Ducky. Don't think that was the person you hit either. I think you... I, he doesn't have guard in though, does he? Yeah, uh, he does. I like hitting the ah, fast player here. A good old Swarf Mirror. Yeah, Ducky, most private leagues are like that. I, I, stripping might have good good fans and whatnot. I, I haven't really ever paid attention to his audience or him. Really? I've never really watched him stream. But uh, I guess that's I guess He's that's a big a good one, though, thing. isn't he? Stripping? Yeah, he's huge. Not yeah, he's pretty huge. Yeah. He doesn't do a ton of Blood Bowl anymore, I don't think. But uh, he does run, yeah, the stripping league. I know Davo played in that for a little while, too. Jim played in the Crendor League, didn't he? 
But that Slayer was standing PC. He could have just blocked, couldn't he? Or was he not standing and I just No, no, he was it? laying down. No, he was. He was laying down. Oh, he was? Oh, okay. Never um apologies. Sorry. I thought he was I thought he was standing. I was like, "Why why is that your blitz?" Ducky, are, are you a fan yeah, yeah, yeah. or are you just there to fucking noob stomp? Seal club is what it's called, isn't it? You uh, you're a sub to stripping? Ducky. <laughs> Jim fails his first go for it of the bunch. Gets in on base contact. Now he's got to make another one here to double base him. The old double base. But if you double base, you just give him the free plus, don't you? You make the free plus instead of the 2D. Can, A um, silent opponent is the friendliest opponent, try. Can young Mr. Page score from here? Yeah. But you can, yes, can't he? he's four scores away. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, Jimmy was zoomed off. You know, I mean. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, the movement six player. Oh, God, I can't fucking roll any fucking dice after he rolls everything for his fucking bullshit score. Jesus Christ, what a load of shit. I don't think it's that bad, Jim. Hi, hey, Jim. Fuck off, Elp, you idiot. I've rolled a million fucking ones and he did like a handoff, three GFIs, uphill dodge without any rerolls, and I can't make any fucking GFIs with rerolls. But yeah, it's going go great. Good fun, Blood Bowl. Glad to be playing again. <laughs> Woo! Jim, you're probably going to win this game, man. <laughs> I'm about to lose 2 1! <laughs> you don't think you can four turn score on him? Well, that's still a draw. It's not a win, is it? There's no way I'm winning. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. The die open. It's a draw, yeah, yeah, it's a draw. <laughs> yes, at least you're not playing Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, exactly, Jay Bazzi. Yeah, all the fucking one in nine, just nothing happened. It was in such a good spot, and then all of the shit dice, then he got all of the good dice. Yeah. Fuck me. Horrible. He put himself into such a terrible spot, giving you all those chains into the ball. Oh, he's not even going to score? So, so <laughs> no, frustrating okay, to watch. I guess, he's, I guess I've got so many down players, he could just dick about and fucking stall. Yeah, well, try, try. The, if this were a, bleep, a BB3 match, the last 13 turns wouldn't have mattered. It's just what the game decides when it crashes and gives someone a 1 1 score or a 1 0 win. <laughs> yeah, probably, Steve. Probably. No, it can still be a draw, and that's that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm just Draws annoyed because like I know I'm going to lose to Inari, and that's the problem. Like, I really wanted to win this one, and like, obviously, there was a real good chance of it being one nil, and then he just got all that bullshit. Fucking. Hell. <laughs> I do think you could have defended that that last turn better. But I don't need to split hairs on that one while you're still playing your game. Yeah, no, I mean it was. I, I did double one the GFI right to base his run yeah, switch, yeah, yeah. and then and then I was going to double GFI to base like sorry, I GFI'd I double one to base his blitzer. Then I was going to double GFI to base his runner. And now obviously, if any of those had worked, it gets a lot harder for him. It's not as if I misplayed. I just fucking rolled a double yeah. one. Which, no, I which, meant on his on his his red D blitz score. Oh I yeah, think I should if the have been Slayer had been down, down, down then, one, yeah. But then this yeah, the, that, was, that that was just that was just risk versus reward, right? I could have gone for the uh, the Slayer, could have gone two down first, and then yeah. if I still had a reroll, I could have made two GFIs. Um, but fair, I, I don't know. Fair. Yeah. I'm really Ducky, surprised Ducky's like wide, found man. Jesus apparently in the strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> and they and they're, yeah. they're happy to play the game. They're privileged. It's like going to play on tabletop, isn't it? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. sometimes not. If you're playing tabletop with your friends in like a in a league, just, it's similar to like any private league, like small private league that you might play in. Generally, everyone's totally cool with either result. Sometimes people get annoyed, but whatever. But man, I have played against some strangers in small, 
tabletop tournaments and there's just a dude there who has to fucking win and he is a miserable fucking person to be around during that tournament but it is less yeah. common. I was talking more about the skill discrepancy, right? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about friendliness. <laughs> nah, no, I've never played tabletop. But I'm talking about the skill, skill discrepancy, right? Because I know PC is a bit more powerful now. A lot of people that play Blood Bowl tabletop will play on the PC as well, I guess. But I imagine there was a period in which a lot of tabletoppers weren't getting the volume practice. Oh, well, certainly uh, not. I mean, most yeah. most most tabletoppers don't play nearly as many games as someone who's grinding CCL in yeah. a you know in a comparative year. But like, I I think the big thing is you just don't know. Like, you could enter a tournament of Blood Bowl, you know, a Blood Bowl tabletop, and half the people playing could just be like, this could be their third and fourth game because they're like, fuck it, I just bought the Blood Bowl set. I'm going to go to my local game store because they're doing a tournament and I'm going to play because I don't care if I win or lose. And then if you know what you're doing and they don't, you're probably going to fucking dominate. You know, not always, but probably. Mm -hmm. But then also you could show up and people could have flown in from fucking Europe because they're trying to up their NAF rating or something. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and, just, and just everyone there is just like a fucking seasoned veteran Blood Bowl player. It's, it's, it's so hard to tell sometimes. Ooh, well, he got one back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, PC. Apparently. No, I've never I don't go to I don't really go to any sort of tabletop tournaments that anyone would ever travel to go to. I just I've just done small local ones here. Reroll in hand for the pickup. So that's nice. He hasn't made a pickup yet, has he? No. Well, Here he, we go. He also has sure hands. So. Yeah, I'm just predicting it. I'm just predicting it. I'm just predict <laughs> <laughs> He's got sure hands. Okay. <laughs> you made me stop and think. I was like, Dwarf Runners, they, they've got sure hands, right? What's he talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm fucking loser again for not remembering all the skills off the top of my head. Oh, God. Okay. Famir, they don't Shame have enough me. red carpet. They don't have enough red carpet in America to roll out for me to show up to a tournament I mean, now that I've won opinion, the SFL one twice. Of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, it is a long way for sure, PC. But I like Jim's odds here. He's got a chance. Chance to, you know, heroically draw it. They have a thing for this, right? On the page. Consideration to be made, or maybe it's good jump. evening, little wrestlers. What can kind I do? Kind of jumped you? out there. I didn't hear you. Oh, I said a bit of a thinker here for Mr. Page, or maybe he's just talking to chat because this game's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, that seems like a fair few more squares than a uh, dwarf runner can go <laughs> without a handoff. But there is that uh, there's that blitzer right on the LOS there, just waiting to catch the ball. And then you know make a bunch of GFIs. And Jim has been very good in his GFIing uh, thus far this game. <laughs> yeah, PC. Oh, Jim's got three like turns, how, not two turns. I don't know if you're watching the animations there, but they all froze when the turn ended. Because it ended by notice. the counter, like the game hung. It was uh, quite interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's got a 1D on the score in front, though. Jim's going to have two scoring threats. I mean, he does, again, he doesn't need a scoring threat for another turn. Oh, what you do here, Jim, is you uh, go for the score in turn 15. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> well, then, then I guess, right. <laughs> then I guess, <laughs> turn him over and score. Casual fourth yeah. game. <laughs> well, there goes Jim's last reroll. So now things are going to be a little terrifying. A couple of, a couple of dub skulls this game. No harm in doing the handoff now. Well, there's that harm, I guess. Well, he picks it up on the way. It's fine. He's got sure hands. <laughs> true. Picks it up on the yeah. way. That's yep. probably the best possible scan. Good, uh, good analysis there, knowing a dwarf runner has sure hands. Yep, yep. <laughs> of course, I can't make one roll without any GFIs. Uh, without any rerolls, sorry. Fucking hell. Don't worry, you can't make any GFIs either, Jim. No, this has been this has been a fucking horrible game to play. Jesus Christ! I made some removals, which is nice. Obviously, I would have been happy about the removals if if some GFIs had worked. And if I like, you know, you could argue that I shouldn't have made those blocks with having the reroll. But then, at the end of the day, like, because you've got to have the reroll on the pit on the handoff, haven't you? But then I still wanted this to all work as well. Well, there's still there's still a chance to score here. He's got two guys who can feasibly score. Holy shit, Mr. Oh, maybe one well after this one deep blitz. This blockless one deep blitz. No, nope. this just pushes him back. He's going to reroll, any? he? Or is he uh, plotting his like, sort of fucking massive clicking, random clicking? Where you're gonna only go, got one you second that. left. And yeah. As soon as you press that, you press left, that, and yeah. then no, you're hoping the camera doesn't move, you're jamming your mouse to get some blocks off. They've all yeah. been there. Well, that's brilliant. That puts him in, that puts him in range for the handoff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't he's still in this. scoring range. Oh, of course he doesn't fail something. Oh, he might be he might be setting a chain up for you though to get him a square closer. No. Draws him down. Oh, he is. He's gonna. He's gonna. Oh dear. Oh, uh, maybe he hasn't. Oh. Uh, is there a chain there? There's got to be a chain there. With one minute to think it out, though, that's not a ton of time. It's probably, yeah, just easier to go over to this other uh, blitzer on the other side. Oh, that is not the time. <laughs> not the time for that bullshit. Oof. Can he free uh, anyone else up to help help over there? I don't think he can now. Yeah, yeah, fair try, fair. So now is it looking easier on this side? I think Jim's uh, shifting his... Yeah, look at this. This could be nice. He's got to get the pow. Oh, well, he kind of got it. But he didn't get the... Um... Well, this hasn't worked out so well. <laughs> there we go. Oh, <laughs> That's going to do it. Fuck. Jesus Christ, you just, like, changed plan four times to accommodate bad dice and just kept getting worse dice. Yeah. That's her. Yeah, it's rough, isn't it? I like how he just, everything he did worked as well once he was out of rerolls. And once I was out of rerolls, everything was fucked. Uh, well, folks, uh, if, you're, if you're sad about the result in this one, if you're cheering for Jim, blame Purple Chest, the man who could not craft a dwarf roster that can beat <laughs> a death <laughs> roller. Dwarf roster. Yeah, just couldn't couldn't craft a good enough dwarf roster for Jim to steal to guarantee a win here. This loss is on Purple Chest. God damn! Yeah, there was all Remains things at the that top if <laughs> Like fuck me, that was horrible. That was a really. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're saying blame the driver, not the car. I see how it is, Purple Chest. I see how it is. <laughs> well, you can sit all high and mighty up at the top of the uh, the BBSL ladder for now. <laughs>
But I mean, to be fair, Mr. Like Mr. Page did the, did the things right. He did that. He did that breakdown there and screened it off. No, and he did the roles that he needed when he was out of real roles. Like but fucking hell. Boy, do I feel. Boy, howdy, do I feel that I've done that. He did nice to oh, have yeah. to get his there guy for the Monday. Yeah, I shouldn't have yeah. stood the troll slayer. That was real bad of me standing up that troll slayer. Jim now with a losing record to Mr. Page. He's 1-0-2 against Mr. Page. Wow. Throughout CCL and BBSL. I made a lot of GFIs. <laughs> well, you failed a lot. You failed a lot of them, too. Yeah. <laughs> was that 8% down on where it should be? Uh... It should be 83, shouldn't it? So it's only 5%. So 5%. Down. But it's okay. double one. The double one lost me the game, though, didn't it? That was, that was the problem. And then the hand. Hey, at least, uh, at least that blizzard wore out before you really, really the got going. lost me the game as well. 40, 41, 29, 38. So not terrible. Yeah, lucky they lost the blizzard. 31, 40, 39. So there you go. He only made six GFIs, and I made 23. And he's bang so, on with his GFIs. Yeah, so you gotta say I should I should have played better, so I didn't need GFIs, I guess. But then on the other hand, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Sometimes there's payoff, but that that's like a that's like a, uh, a PC number of GFIs there, isn't it? Probably, <laughs> probably should have played well, better. Like, but it's like a PC number of uh, dwarfs on a dwarf team too. So. <laughs> but boy, howdy, do I uh, do I feel hard done by there? But there you go. There's this there's, there's dice involved, isn't there? And maybe I could have played better. I, I, I don't know, like, I really like the, the three GFIs that I was going to do on the Crucial Term when he broke through, but maybe I could have just not. It was such high pay, I had to do it, like, I'm okay with that. Like, obviously scoring early sucks a bit, but at the end of the day it was against a roller, so I didn't hate that much, and plus, that's why I didn't have all the KO, because obviously we're surrounded by like four guys, I thought there's no point even being stunned here, I'm just going to try and score early, and get rid of the roller, and, uh, and there you go. And then obviously couldn't have all the dead. And, uh, and that all worked out, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hit my offense or my defense really. Just got unlucky with that double one, and then him passing everything with no rerolls. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then the second half, again, it was like the perfect kick, wasn't it? Like against PC, the kick in the fucking end zone, as far away as it could possibly have been from the fucking yeah. <laughs> the runner, nearly. That was brutal. And then even then, with a handoff, it would have been a, a score probably. So. I don't know. Is what it is. Right. <laughs> thank you very much, Skuro, and thank you very much, Elp, for doing the commentary. And uh, yeah, at least at least it makes the final the final week interesting, doesn't it? That's going to be really really interesting for the final week. Sure does. Um, if you lose to Narin, are you going to drop out of BBS now? <laughs> <laughs> no, Elp. I'll still play in it. Um, right. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.